Yeah, I mean, it uh, doesn't happen too often, so uh, well, that's pretty cool. But, yeah, I mean, I just, uh, you know, trying to get better every day and, you know, making sure when I'm in there I'm doing my job and um, helping the team in any way I can. Now, what can you say about Dermy? Yeah, obviously, Dermy's, uh, he plays a key role for us. Um, obviously, it's awesome when he can contribute on the offensive side, but he's so tough to play against in our own uh, in our own zone and i think you saw that any any rush they had against him tonight most of them ended up in the corner with him hitting the guy so um no it's just that extra presence that we have in the back end and um he's been playing really well for us so it's awesome nothing i mean my beer was getting pretty long so i just decided to clean it up a bit that was pretty much it thanks Yeah, Miko told me actually on the bench. So um, no, it's uh, it's pretty special, but um, it's it's yeah, it's special. But I sound like a broken record. But um, those goals go back to the team. So um, no, it's uh, it's awesome to achieve something like that. But at the end of the day, um, we're focused on this this last run in the regular season here. So you didn't know you were on the verge of it. You didn't know you were close. Um, to be honest, it's not really something I focus on. So um, I, I felt like. I might have saw something that uh, that it was close, but it's not really in the back of my mind when I'm out on the ice, um, uh, trying to do what I do. So, um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't really something that clicked in my brain right away. What what are your goals like for a season? Like, so if you have them, um, what kind of goals do you have? Yeah, I mean, for me, sorry, yeah, no, um, for me, just individually, obviously, um, this year, I think I just it, it all went back to the consistency aspect of my game, um, being reliable on both ends. Um, uh, for me, the stat part of it's not um, not critical in terms of how I play. I feel like I'm, I'm more um, I, I determine how I play in my own head, and um, I, I don't think the stat sheet really tells tells that story. It's it's kind of on myself. So I'm my hardest critic, I think, and um, I think that's the way you have to be if you, if you're going to play at this level. So uh, yeah. Yeah, he's been doing it all. I mean, he's a huge piece, and uh, he's been bringing it this whole season. So it's uh, it's really awesome to see. Same as you, you played another franchise record for your attempted scoring. Is it stressful to either of you being a part of the history like that? Is that like a team a team yeah. thing? I mean, yeah. Obviously, um, we have uh, we're fortunate to have a lot of players that are, are uh, good on both ends of the puck and contribute offensively and. Um, obviously, Taser, um, Bo's contributed as well. G, Dermy here, and then EJ and, and Jack. Honestly, everybody in the now man. So um, everybody's capable of doing it. And the exciting part is uh, when uh, when we're rolling, it's it's a lot of fun. So yeah. Um, you know what? He's uh, you know pretty much everything. I mean, he's just you know unbelievable player all around and. You know, the calmness that he brings on the back and on the bench is uh, something that really stood out to me. Um, he's always calm and cool and collected, and that's uh, something that I'm going to try to, uh, you know, take in as well. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty special player to watch every night. Curtis, uh, Teddy asked you a question there. He says, to what extent do you enjoy being with Dermy Davis? Is he kind of one of those? Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I love the fans here. They're... Uh, Second to none. So, um, you know, I just do my job out there and, uh, you know, they really appreciate that. So, you know, that feels good for me. Curtis, when you get a goal, somewhere in the back of your head, you start thinking about like, what is my hat trick? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should, though. Yeah, obviously. Um, the, I think management has a lot of trust in the in the group we have here, and I think we added the pieces um, that we did to obviously you're not going to add pieces if you don't think they're going to make you better. So um, no, we're excited to get the whole the whole group going here. Obviously, when guys come back from injury, and then um, hopefully Lucky gets in here pretty quick. But um, no, for us it's uh, it's an exciting time, and um, we know they have they have faith in us. It's just putting all those pieces together, and they've they've given us the best opportunity to to achieve it now. It's just uh, yeah, like I said, putting it all together. So. Yeah, I mean a little bit. Um, there's definitely more energy. Obviously, you know you're getting closer to playoff time, but 
Um, I think in terms of just how critical we're being of our own play, uh, it's just getting to that next level, whether it's in video or in practice. Um, those little, the little mistakes, even though a few that I personally made tonight, those aren't like those can't happen come playoff time. So um, it's just it's learning from those, and then obviously down the stretch is when you start tweaking things. So you know you can definitely feel the energy, um, and hopefully this is the group that uh, was made to do it. So um, like I said, it's just uh, we have all the pieces, we just got to put it together. Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, uh, on an individual basis, I don't think I had my best game. But um, at the end of the day, that's that's why we have depth. Everybody steps up. And I thought we had a lot of depth scoring tonight. And um, we're going to need that down the stretch. So uh, effort-wise, I thought it was thought it was their all game. I thought we had a really good back pressure from our forwards, which helped us uh, on the back end create good gaps. And um, it kind of all starts from there for us. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Before the game, we, we wanted to focus on getting pucks to the net tonight, and um, getting pucks to the net is one thing, but also getting bodies to the net and getting guys there um, for the extra chances are, is another. So I think we did a great job tonight, and um, the the decor, especially, I think, just trying to get pucks through, whether it's uh, B to D into the net or just quick shots. But um, no, it's definitely fun when uh, when you get in the mojo, but um, that can be broken pretty quick, obviously. So yeah. Uh, Yeah, I'm the one. Um, just I, I feel like Taser made a good play to kind of block his guy out, and I, I feel like um, I, I could have easily just jumped and grabbed that puck and eliminated that right away. Um, and then just gap-wise, I feel like I, I kind of uh, fell off of it a little bit, and then um, there uh, I, I just got caught lunging forward basically and didn't uh, didn't take my guy to the net. And it's, a, it's an easy fix, obviously. You just have to block the guy out, and Frankie takes care of the rebound. So um, that one's definitely on me. Yeah, I liked it. I thought we had good jump. Um, pretty good offensively tonight, I thought. Um, didn't make a lot of mistakes, but some of the ones we made, you know, we gave them some easy goals. I didn't really like that part of it. But, it, you know, I think I had it. The numbers were low in the first period, second period. haven't gone through the third yet. And, and yet, you know, they put a couple by us. I don't like getting scored on, so and I know our guys don't either, so I just thought there was a few things we could have done differently on probably about four chances per period and through the first two, which is low numbers, I think, but uh, we'll take a look at it and try to cure them. But I thought our guys played well tonight. Well, he plays hard. I mean, he's hard to play against. He's physical. He's limiting his mistakes. He's improving his puck play. You know, if he doesn't like what he sees, it's generally going up and out of the zone and, and clearing the zone for us. So he's, you know, he feels pretty comfortable with pressure coming at him, especially when he gets a puck on his forehand to be able to get it up and out. It's a simple game, but it's effective. Well, our guys love it. Yeah. I mean, he's earned it, right? He's had a couple good looks here and, and hasn't been able to put it in the net. and. You know, tonight he, you know, gets in a real good spot, unloads it, and he scores, and our guys were happy for him. Yeah. I thought he was okay. I thought he was really dangerous on the offensive side of it, but he has a couple mistakes on the D side. Both of them ended up in the back of our net. So he's loose on the first goal. Um, Van, Reem, Van Reemsake shoots it, then goes by him and puts it in. It's a mistake, you know, that goal's on him. And then um, he was trying to make a real nice play in the neutral zone on, uh, was it McEwen's goal? And he's the D man, he's the last man, and they quick up it by him. So he, he doesn't, he got caught watching his pass, he gets turned over and he faded to the middle and they found him and he got a step on him, they put that one in. So I would agree with that. I like that he holds himself to a high standard. Take those two plays out of it, I thought he was exceptional. <laughs> so that's the difference, but that's kind of where we're trying to get our team to go. Like, we, you know, like you don't see Kale um, make mistakes often, but like he made two tonight probably, and both of them end up in the back of our net. We get a couple saves there, I would say he was really good. <laughs> 
was okay too. Yeah, gave us a good chance to win. I thought he, um, so if I just looked at the couple goals, I didn't love him, but he made some big saves. Stops a breakaway, stops a big two on one, had some tough saves to make. He had not a lot of them, but he had he had some tough saves to make that he looked really good on. And then, you know, that, you know, I don't like the guy like being able to slide it in We're under pressure from Kale when he's not going to be able to elevate the puck. He puts it in on the ice. And I think he probably could have done a better job on the Van Riemsdijk rebound goal too. But you know what? He made some key saves at key times and we built a lead. And then, you know, he let one or two that I think he, if he'll, he'd say the same thing as Kale, that he was probably just okay. Yeah, like I think we'll be pleased from tonight's game. Like, hey, we got a team coming in here um, that struggled through the course of the year, really picked it up here recently, just had a big win last night. So they're on a the back-to-back. We're the rested team at home. We're coming off a game that we weren't thrilled with. Our um, We didn't reach our standard of play in the Vancouver game, even though it was okay. We, it just wasn't to our standard. And I can say tonight wasn't to our standard either, but... I like tonight's game much better. We were way more dangerous offensively. Puck possession, I'm sure, was um, was in favor on our side by a large margin. Um, but you always want to, like, we're just kind of striving to play that perfect game, right? And, and tonight, you know, we made some of those mistakes are on us. Like, they didn't really force us into those mistakes. We just, you know fell asleep a couple times and it ended up in the back of our net so it's about our you know it's about that raising the bar and I think all of our guys get it like I think you'd ask a lot of guys in our room tonight and they'd say yeah we, I was just okay well then I mean I'm pretty happy with the game there's just some things we got to clean up yeah I like that line tonight um Cogliano Helm and it started out with Kubel and then went to OC. Hard work and, you know, like just grinding teams down in the offensive zone. And he makes a nice play off the face off on the McDermott goal. Um, Mance was, was pretty good. There's some things that I love about his game. Um, and then he got caught going the wrong way on one of the neutral zones where they jumped by him and made it a two-on-one. So, again, just letting the game come to him a little bit and just relaxing and, and – uh, but there was some. There was a lot of positives in his game as well. Who's that? He's having a great season. Yeah, yeah. He's. Uh, I think he's been pretty consistent in his play. Looks real strong on the puck to me. Um, yeah, I think he's been an impact player in, in the bulk of our games for me. He, he's. You know, like he had a you know a couple of years ago, he had that season where he was leading the league and all that. It's similar to that season. Um, then he had a he got an injury and it kind of slowed down for him in the second half. But we'd see we've seen him dominate large portions of seasons before. But I, I think uh, this one he just seems to be real committed on the defensive side of things and and really digging into um, his checking game and there and then you know you can see the the number he's putting up offensively still so I like that I like that commitment I think he's grown a lot as a defensive player I don't think he gets enough credit for his for his um, ability to check and keep and suppress scoring chances so. I liked him tonight yep skating hard on pucks no turnovers um, so I thought he deserved the, the opportunity to play with those guys Yeah, and the fourth line too. Yeah, Helm line and Sturm line. Both those guys won a lot of faceoffs. I think Sturm was eleven and four tonight in the circle. Uh, Comfort was eight and one. That helps, you know, gets you moving in the right direction. If you're in the offensive zone, you get to stay there for a little bit. If you win in the D zone, you can get up and out and, and get after the puck. Uh, but th- but they were they were competitive like they were on pucks in battles winning battles it was a connected group of three on the ice um which helps you come up with more pucks they were less spread out 
So I'm, I'm starting to like the way those two lines are trending, even though that, you know, some of those guys have, it's been a while since they've scored and I know they're thinking about that, but you know, it'll come if they keep playing like that. Yeah, I'm not thrilled when our skilled guys have have to fight or want, but some if, if they want to, I mean, it's their decision, you know. As long as sit there and hope everyone's good, no broken hands or faces and that, and then I'm good. Yeah, once I once I know that that's not a problem, then I'm okay with it. Correct. Here's my take on that pen. I think he had a penalty. Skating back on him and grabbing him, I would have been thinking, yep, yeah, that's a penalty. Until they fight, then I would have washed it. That's me. I would have just let it play for a second. Because if he's grabbing him and the other guy wants to go and they want to fight, then great. Then it's not really a penalty. You know, if the guy's trying to get up the ice and then they play and you're grabbing him like you did, then it's a penalty. But if they're both willing and they're, you know, they get at it in the corner and then he catches them by the hash and he grabs them if they want to fight, then to me, I would have washed that and made it 505. That would be my take on it. Liked him a lot. Yep. More poised and patient with the puck, skating a little bit better. Yeah, I, li I liked his game tonight. I liked that. So you asked me about the Kadri line. What did I, you know, what I think about his, his game? I thought that line was really good. Um, possession time, more discipline with the puck, more committed to our checking and reloads. Spent more time in the offensive zone. They were dangerous a bunch of times. I thought Naz skated real well. I thought Berkey skated real well and Conf with them too and made some really good puck decisions. Yeah, thanks guys. Yep.